Let's consider two particles connected by a cable. And since their motion depends on each other, this is why it's called the dependent motion. So in this case, we have to specify a position vector for each one of them. So we specify one for A, and we specify another one for B. And as you can see, the two coordinates move together. One increases, the other one decreases. So rule number one, the datum has to start from a fixed reference. Number two, the positive coordinate always points at the moving particle. And this is clear, you can see the arrows pointing at the moving objects. And we start finding the kinematic relationships between A and B as follows. First, let's consider the length of the cord. And let's call this L. So SA plus SB plus this segment, which is constant, will be equal to L. And as you can see here, we didn't include this segment because it is constant and it will not contribute to the final relationships of velocity and acceleration. So by taking the derivative, we get VA plus VB equals to zero. And by taking the derivative of velocity again, we get AA plus AB equals to zero. So let's see how this works. VA plus VB equals to zero means VA equals minus VB. And if we assume, for example, that VB is one meters per second, which means positive, then VA should be minus one meters per second, which is negative. And by saying negative, then it moves against the assumed coordinate of A. Here is an example that we will be seeing frequently. We start with a datum, SA, another datum, and SB. So we are following the rules. The datum starts from a fixed point, and the arrow is pointing to the moving object. If we add the coordinates, we have SA plus 2SB plus this segment, which will not affect our solution. And this is equal to L. And if we take the derivative once and twice, we get the velocity and acceleration relationships. And how about if we compare this system to another system here? So let's see. A, this is the coordinate. B, another coordinate from a fixed point. Note that the fixed point does not have to be from the ceiling. We can come to the last fixed point and take the datum. And if we add up the whole chord, then we have to include also the length h, which is constant. Now take the derivative of both equations and you will get the same result. Va plus 2vb equals to zero. Why is that? Because h is constant and if we take its derivative, it will be equal to zero. So in this system, VA is equal to minus 2VB. And this makes sense. If A moves in the positive direction, then B moves in the negative direction, opposite to the arrow. How about if we take the datum from another point, like we will do here? So we come to the left side, and we assume a fixed point, and then we point the vector to A, and then you can see that this length is H, SB didn't change, and also this length did not change. And now let's calculate the total length of the cord, which is going to be this small segment, which is H minus SA plus 2SB plus the segment again, doesn't count, equals to L. And if we take the derivative, H goes away, minus SA becomes minus VA plus 2VB equals to zero. This means VA is equal to plus 2VB. And let's assume in both cases that VB is equal to one meters per second positive, which means down. And the left side, 
VA is equal to plus 2VB. So if we substitute VB in this relation, we will get VA equals plus 2. Plus 2 with the arrow means that to the right. However, in the other case, VA is going to be equal to minus 2. And minus 2 in this case means to the right because the positive is assumed to the left. And in both cases, we get the same physical answer. Let's consider this situation where we have a hand instead of a block. So if this hand moves down, the block goes up and vice versa. And let's give a name for this hand. So we'll call it A, we'll call the block B, and we have to specify a coordinate for the motion of the hand, which we will call SA. And we'll do the same thing for B, which is SB. Note again that SB does not have to start from all the way up. We go to the last fixed point, and then this does the job. So in this case, the length L will be SA plus 3SB. And we don't worry about those two segments because they are fixed. And here you can see if we take the derivative once and twice. So the relationship basically is 3 to 1. And notice also that you can see this problem in a different way. For example, a motor is driving a cable down. So any point on the cable will have the same velocity. So just put a point A, which represents the velocity of the cable, and then you can do the same thing as you did for the hand. Can we make a quick conclusion here that will save your time later on? I think we can. If we look at this left figure, A is connected to one segment of the cable, and B is connected to three segments of the cable. On the right side, A is connected to one segment of the cable, and B is connected to two segments of the cable. So using this analogy, you can find your relationships by inspection. Here is another situation where we have two cables. This one connected to A, and this one connected to B and C. Note here that if we put C here or C on the block, it doesn't matter. So we just need to follow the same rules, specify a fixed datum, then we specify SA, and then we specify S of D because D also is moving. And then we do the same thing on the left side. We specify S of B, and we specify also S of C. And by calculating the length of the first cable, it will be SA plus 2SD. And we'll call that L1. And for the second cable, it will be SB plus SC plus this segment, which is going to be SC minus SD. And by taking the derivatives for the first one, VA plus 2VD equals to zero. And for the second one, VB plus two times VC minus VD is equal to zero. And here we need to eliminate the coordinate that we don't need. So as you can see, we are interested in the motion of the blocks A, B, and C. But we're not interested in the motion of D because it doesn't mean anything to us. So to get rid of the coordinate of D from this equation, VD is equal to VB plus 2VC. So we take this and we substitute it up in the first equation. And now we get a relationship between A, B, and C. And here is a quick example. So if block A is moving downward at 2 meters per second, while block C is moving also down at 6 meters per second, determine the speed of block B. So we just specify our positive coordinates, S, A, B, and C. And then this is only one cable, so we add everything together. S, A plus 2S, B plus S, C. 
and then we take the derivative and then we substitute the value of a which is positive because it's down and also the value of c which is also positive down and this brings us to the final solution of vb which is minus four meters per second which means four meters per second up because it's negative and the positive coordinate is down in some situations the cable will not be in a vertical or horizontal position for example here we can see that the cable has an angle and in this case let's say that va is given and vb is required how can we find vb so we need to start with the positive coordinates of sa and sb and then calculate the length of the whole cord so to do that we need those two segments so we need to specify the constant length h such that those two lengths will be h minus sb multiplied by 2 and then we add this length which is the square root of h square plus sa square and this is equal to the length l and now we can take the derivative of this first part so h goes away sb becomes s dot b and this is done by the chain rule so this is to the power one half we put one half here and then the power becomes minus one half and then when we multiply by the derivative of what is inside which is another chain rule of s a square which is 2 s a times s dot a and this is equal to zero and if we rearrange and consider s dot b to be the velocity of b and s dot a to be the velocity of a then we get the relationship between vb and va and if we put some numbers here which are usually given in the problem you will see that if va is one meters per second moving to the right which is positive you will find vb is equal to positive 0.3 meters per second which is also up and this makes sense a moves to the right positive b moves up positive also Thank you.